Hello everyone and welcome to the second game of the second match of the Champions Chester Finals. Magnus Carlsen vs Wesley. So Magnus started the match with a win and now, well, he's in a very comfortable position. He can uh, draw his black games, he can maybe play for a win with white and everything should be fine. So let's see uh, if Wesley will be able to bounce back uh, as Magnus defeated him with the black pieces uh, as well. Uh, it's a really wild game, it will make your game spin, but you will enjoy it. So let's uh, dive straight into it. Uh, Magnus uh, with the white pieces opens with e4 and Wesley strikes with the Sicilian defense. We have knight to f3, d6 and Magnus goes for bishop to c4, not going for uh, the immediate d4 of opening the position. Knight to f6 with d3 and sorry not d4, I said d3 uh, and pawn to e6. We have castles and bishop to e7. So uh, pr pr pretty close setup and already here we have pawn to a4 by Magnus and it is now as of move 6 that we have a completely new game. So Wesley continues by striking in the center, pawn to d5, we usually say when black is able to do this in the Sicilian defense, black should be perfectly fine. So let's see, bishop to b5 check and now king to f8, Wesley really playing for a win in this one. Pawn to e5 by Magnus, knight back to g8, look at this, king to f8 and bringing the knight back to the starting square. Uh, pawn to a5, Magnus grabs more space on the uh, queen side and now Wesley tries something very interesting. He plays pawn to a6 and he asks Magnus, what do you do with the bishop? If you go to a4, I'm just going to win the a5 pawn, but it looks very dangerous to put the queen in front of the rook like that. Uh, okay, Magnus goes uh, a bishop to a4 and Wesley captures the pawn with queen captures on a5. So okay, his king is on f8, he had to bring the knight back to the starting square, not a lot of development, grabbing a pawn with your queen, uh, definitely looks like a recipe for disaster. So let's see what happens, pawn to c4, Magnus wants to open up the center and try to attack Wesley's king, uh, pawn to d4, of course Wesley closes it, knight to b to d2 now, getting the knight to e4 and then uh, to d6 is, if possible. Uh, queen back to c7, we have knight to e4 and now bishop to d7, attacking the bishop here, Magnus trades, captures, captures, and now bishop to f4, gaining more control over the d6 square before you plant the knight there, pawn to h6, and now pawn to h4, stopping pawn to g5, so pawn to g6 by Wesley, and Magnus strikes with pawn to b4. Uh, the idea is, of course, that if you capture, then you weaken the d4 pawn, and then Magnus just gets a very strong center. So uh, that's exactly what Wesley does, uh, and now knight captures on d4. We have rook to d8, now uh, threatening some uh, some discoveries here, but Magnus not worried about them, he just plays queen to f3, and the reason he's not worried about them is that if you play knight captures on e5, uh, knight captures on e6 with the royal fork, and after f captures, then bishop captures on e5, opens up a discovery and wins the queen on c7. So after queen f3, king to g7 was played, Wesley sidesteps all of this and now Magnus plants a knight on d6. So it looks like a wonderful square, so of course you will have to eliminate it, it is a monster knight. Captures, captures and queen back to c8. We have rook f to e1 uh, and now knight g2 f6. Wesley finally starts developing his king side, knight to b3 now preparing to start advancing those pawns uh, and now rook h to e8. Uh, we have bishop back to c1, Magnus of course wants to shift the bishop over to this diagonal, and pawn to e5, Wesley closes it, bishop to b2, and now pawn to b6. Uh, we have uh, pawn to g4, Magnus says alright it's uh, you know not uh, exactly what he hoped for, but he does have a pawn on d6, he does have a nice bishop here, and if he can get an attack against the black king, should be fine, if he can't, remember he's down a pawn because Wesley, Wesley snatched that a5 pawn uh, back in the opening. King to g8, uh, getting uh, off of this diagonal, and now knight to d2, going for uh, knight to e4. Uh, we have rook to e6, Wesley trying to win another pawn here, and now Magnus strikes with pawn to g5. We have captures, captures, and knight to h7. Uh, and okay, Magnus goes queen to g3. Uh, puts more pressure on that e5 pawn and the Wesley finds uh, an ingenious way of uh, dealing with uh, this uh, blocked position he's uh, facing. He plays rook captures on d6 and now after pawn to d4, Magnus says you cannot capture as your rook on d6 will fall. Uh, Wesley says I don't need it, uh, you will have to give up the bishop here if you want to take my rook because this bishop is worth a lot more. So bishop captures, we have e captures on d4 and now Magnus brings the rook to e7, uh, prepares to double up on the e-file and 
will somehow try to go after the the black king maybe something like king to g2 rook to h1 put the king on the h a queen on the h file go after the knight on h7 so we have knight to c5 here a queen to c5 is actually deadly uh, just attacking the g5 pawn and the rook on e7 so it's the one moment that wesley could have used to uh, really take control of the uh, over the game but he played knight to c5 first and now magnus plays rook a to e1 now the rook is defended so you don't have time for this uh and rook to f8 now bringing a defender to the f7 pawn uh knight to, knight to f8 was probably a little bit more correct we have queen to h4 now magnus wants to bring a rook behind the queen and then checkmate wesley's king uh we have pawn to b3 and now king to g2 the correct way to do it is f4 f4 uh, because uh, you, you know, uh, the black queen doesn't have any checks towards the white king and now uh, rook to e2 followed by rook to h2 and then you go after the knight so this is the winning idea but magnus played king to g2 and now wesley finds the correct move of course not check uh, because then just pawn to f3 uh, the correct idea is queen to f5 and now you don't have time to, um, uh, to uh, go for rook to h1 uh, of course if you go for rook to h1 here then just queen captures on g5 with check trades off the uh, the queens so rook 7 to e5 attacks the queen and defends the pawn here queen back to d7 and now rook again back to d5 now the real way to do it is rook e7 queen back and now pawn to f4 you still have time for this but magnus went for rook to d5 queen to c7 and now rook to h1 going after the knight here but the reason wesley put the queen on the seventh rank is that so he can advance the f pawn and we said you know you should never play f6 even when it's winning here it's uh, the only move for, move for wesley to survive the attack uh, and now magnus goes for knight to e4 it looks like uh, uh definitely the move but wesley plays f captures on g5 and now attacks the queen here and uh, probably best and uh, still maybe giving magnus some chances is queen to h6 but he goes for knight captures on g5 uh, and now we have knight to d3 uh, and this again gives magnus a winning position uh the the real idea you want to play here and i will show it because it's uh, really awesome is knight captures on g5 rook captures on g5 looks like black is getting destroyed here but look at this queen g7 and after queen to g4 going for rook captures on g6 there's knight to d3 the move that wesley played only like five moves uh, too early uh, and now if rook captures of course knight to f4 with check uh, ends the game uh, you will have to capture then queen captures with check and if you play this then just captures captures and uh, Bla black's uh, pass pawns are of course very much winning here uh, but after knight captures on g5 knight to d3 was played by wesley and now again it's magnus who's winning well knight captures on h7 is enough to win he goes for knight to e6 for the uh, fork here attacks the rook and the queen because they are all playing an increment here you can see they both have seven seconds on the clock uh, and now queen to f7 and there is only one winning move for magnus here and that is knight captures on f8 but he doesn't play it he plays queen captures on h7 with check which wins him a piece uh, but um, he disregards the, the the power of the past pawns so wesley has to trade here we have captures captures king captures and now knight captures even comes with check but look at this king to g8 uh, and now uh, even though magnus is up a full rook the past pawns are just too powerful we have rook to d6 magnus realizes it and says okay you take my knight i want to go after your pawns but wesley says nope pawn to b2 he's not interested in the knight uh, rook captures on b6 but now pawn to a5 and with the b2 pawn protected it's merely a matter of a4 a3 a2 and a1 that's all there is so magnus will try to defend rook to b3 a4 uh, wesley not interested in anything here he just wants to advance that pawn all the way to a2 pawn to a3 and now knight to e6 with a discovery but now king to f7 and knight to g5 with check king to g7 and rook to b7 with check and if the king comes to h6 then you are sort of able to box the king in for example king h6 you're gonna go here and if the king goes here uh, you can even uh, deliver some rook to b5 check maybe even uh, checkmate the black king but of course wesley not interested he goes back and now of course there are no more ideas here magnus does find one last trick in the position he plays knight to e4 pawn to a2 and now knight to f6 with check king to f8 and now he plays rook to d7 it's a, a very well known um uh, threefold repetition setup and of course magnus is hoping for wesley to play pawn to a1 uh, and maybe he played it maybe he played pawn to b1 maybe he played something else so what would you play here feel free to pause the video and try to find the only winning idea for wesley while i give you a couple of seconds
So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on not being hasty with the pawns. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is knight to f4 with check. And not for the sake of giving a check, but for the sake of reaching the a5, h5 square. That's the way to do it. Uh, h4, a knight to f4 check was played. And uh, yeah, for those of you who don't trust me, like if you play b1 queen here, then you just deliver a check and there's no way to avoid the repetition. Uh, king here, knight to f6 check, uh, forces the king back, king f8. Another check if you go to g8, another check. Now you cannot go here because rook to h7 is checkmate. So you have to go back and then another check and then another and then another. Doesn't matter how many queens black has. So that's why knight to f4 check, king f3, knight to h5. Uh, and it was in this position on move 56 that Magnus Carlsen resigned the game uh, as there is nothing more to be done here. I think Wesley even, uh, Wesley even uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, said, okay, I'm losing this one as well. But then he found the, <laughs> the winning idea. I mean, it was uh, absolutely crazy. They were both playing uh, the last 20 moves basically on seconds. But yeah, uh, Magnus <laughs> managed to find one last trick. Uh, but uh, Wesley uh, does not fall for it. He takes Magnus down. And now the point is, of course, that once you deliver a check, there's no knight back to f6. That's the idea behind knight f4 check and knight to h5. Uh, it was um, uh, enough. And Wesley takes down Magnus with the black pieces in game two of their Champions Jester Finals second match. Uh, so two more games remaining. Will Wesley take the win in this? match and force the third match uh we'll see uh, or will magnus just uh, take uh, the, the the win or the draw in the second match as well uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Really a wild one. Uh, I would like to thank Robert Arathun, Sam's Giant Tortoise Farm, The Night Before Christmas. Good luck on Law School Finals, Ken V, and Benjamin Haberger for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon, continuing the coverage of this wonderful event until it finishes. Uh, so thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.